just because we have this great blessing of Iman does not mean it will remain with us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve and protect Iman in our hearts and in our lives always and forever. Allahumma ameen. But think about that. And there are many a hadith and one famous hadith is our Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam telling his companions that no one will enter Jannah just based on performance, based on deeds. And to their shock when they hear a statement like that, the most pious person they know is him sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So they ask him, even you ya Rasulullah, and he responds, even me, but rather the one that enters Jannah, it will be by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. May Allah count all of us from amongst them. Allahumma ameen. So the first thing is to remind yourself that Iman, just because we have it, there is no guarantee it will remain with us. Keep in mind the incredible blessing it is to have this faith, to have this Iman. It requires a lifestyle or a behavior to be attached to it, always. You cannot have one without the other. If we have, and we do, we have faith, our lifestyle, our choices have to reflect that. You've got to live that life. It's not enough for someone in the sight of Allah to just believe. That's a great starting point. But it needs the other half, it needs the other page, which is the lifestyle and the action that you and I do that reflect that faith from within.